Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Okay, work a little bit on this little pear here I'm going to stick in here. A lot of artists with their colors, they might have 50 different tubes of paint, all different colors, but I prefer to mix and that's how I, that's how I paint. I have been dabbling in art since I was probably four or five years old. Uh, it first started with my second grade teacher. She's the first one that recognized that I might have had some talent. And uh, she encouraged me a lot. And other than that, really, I haven't had a, a good deal of encouragement from people. I mostly have um, done my own art by doing it. I've got some classes behind me. I don't have a, a formal education behind me. But I've done most everything by just taking a few classes, reading, and practicing art. And I have been doing it for a long, long time. However, when I was working and had a career, I kind of put it aside because I wanted to raise my family and have my kids and, and uh, a career, and I did that. So then when we retired, I decided I was going to really pursue it more, and that's what I did. I have done portraits, I've done landscapes, I've done animals, I've done seascapes. Um, I will try just about anything. This particular one right here that I'm working on now happens to be a still life. It's not my favorite, but um, I like to try a lot of different things because I feel I learn by doing it. And um, it's kind of, co of a compilation with several different things. I've got like a pitcher for one thing and, a, and some fruit on a table for another. And I kind of took it from a couple of different things that I've seen. Um, I don't always, I don't like to copy. If I see a picture that I like, I'll change it a lot because I don't want it to look anything like what somebody else did or what the picture, unless it's a photograph that I've taken, then I don't mind copying. But otherwise, I'd rather not um, do the same thing someone else has done. One of the things about oils is that I really like is that they are very forgiving. I, you, they're easy to work with, they're easy to blend. Um, and they have, to me, Maybe I shouldn't say this, but they have a lot more depth than I think acrylics do. There's something about the different, the, the intensity of the colors that to me is much nicer than acrylics. So that's my medium. I like the oils. One thing that I do that probably a lot of other artists don't do is I also work with some uh, uh, quilting, which also involves a lot of color and um, thinking in your head, you know, about the different colors and placement and form and, and probably a lot of artists maybe have another medium that they like a lot, but I don't think a lot of them do. I think they pursue maybe one particular one. And uh, certainly uh, painting is my favorite, but I also do a lot of quilting. My husband is a kiter. He has lots of kites and we fly them down on Padre Island and um, they're so colorful that I just decided I wanted to do something with kites. When I'm doing something it doesn't seem like it but when you put it all together and considering that I've sold quite a lot um, there's a lot of hours in there but very enjoyable hours. I don't advertise a lot and I don't, I do like to sell a few things like at this art sale simply because it helps my art league, you know. But art's a tough sell, especially when the economy is the way it is, you know. It isn't a necessity and people spend, have to spend their money, what money they have on necessary things and art just is not one of them. My main thing is, I want to get better. A lot of people seem to be intimidated by it, but my thing is you just do it. You just got to do it. And so what if you make a few mistakes, you know? Uh, it isn't going to hurt anything. You learn. You just, you just have to do it. And it is intimidating to a lot of people. 
I've been in classes where, you know, they'll set a canvas up, it's blank, and, and they're scared. And I understand that on the one hand, but on the other hand, I, I've, you just have to do it. Forget about being afraid and just try it. Can't hurt. What are you gonna do? Nothing. If it's not right, well, if it's not right, and you can just do something else. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4th, 2008.